Hi, Will here for Sound on Sound at the AES convention in New York in the JBL demo room with Peter. Peter, you've got some new powered monitors today. Can you tell us about them? Sure. So we're at, this is actually the first show for us to launch our 7 Series powered studio monitors. This is our premium line. It's based on our flagship M2 studio monitor where uh, we launched that product to develop some new technologies to kind of change the game in monitoring. And we saw a bunch of needs. Um, first of all, studio monitors are being used in a very broad range of applications. Certainly music is very, very demanding, but also immersive audio production specifically is very demanding because we're using more speakers at greater distances. And so the first need was to have greater output and dynamic range from a speaker. We realized that the current crop of drivers just wouldn't allow that. Most studio monitors kind of, uh, they protect themselves when they try to play too loud. So this is a conventional um, uh, soft dome tweeter. Mm -hmm. This is what we're using in 7 Series. And you can see it's quite a, quite a machine. Uh, we also developed new woofers to be able to keep up with this. And as a result, yeah, go ahead. And what is the technology in here? Yeah, this is a compression driver. And while compression drivers have been around for a long time, what we're doing in this driver is very unusual. It has a, a different kind of diaphragm than what's conventional without getting too deeply into it. But what that allows us to do is get very, very low distortion, high output, and with woofers, new low frequency drivers to match, we're able to get two to three times the output of a conventional studio monitor. And what that means is that if you're doing film work in particular and very high dynamic music production, you've got the dynamic range you need to use the speakers at a reasonable distance. It's making a huge difference. And also our waveguide allows the speaker to be very neutral in a broad range of environments. So you go from room to room or place in the room to another place in the room, they sound the same, you get the same mix. So that's, that's what we're doing in studio monitor land. Because of these drivers, we're driving each driver with 250 watts of power in the speaker. Of course, we have lots of other features. There's room EQ and uh, digital inputs and things like that. Um, go ahead. So um, what kind of amps are you using? Are they Class Ds? They are Class D. Mm -hmm. They are Class D. And what, what digital options do we have on, on the back there? Yeah, there's AES EBU, uh, mm -hmm. and there's analog. The sample rate internally is 192. Uh, we also have a network port, and we've got some plans for that. We're, we're developing some things to take these to the next level. Some AES67 things? Uh, no control port, a control port. Okay. Um, so can you tell us how much these are going to cost then and when they'll sure. be available? Yeah, these, the little 5-inch um, speaker is $9.99. Mm -hmm. You'll see street price. Is that each? Each. Mm -hmm. And the 8-inch is $19.99 each. Okay, and can you tell us quickly about um, how, how low these go, uh, sure. the larger and the smaller? Well, they'll go very, very low. <laughs> um, the 8-inch has a low frequency extension to 35 hertz, mm -hmm. and the 5-inch to 39 hertz. And they play out to 36 kilohertz with extraordinary output. Um, people listen to this 5-inch speaker and they say, please turn the subwoofer off. And we say, well... There is no subwoofer. And then they say, well, well, I want to hear the little one, not the big one. They say, you are listening to the little <laughs> one. And it's, it's really um, ear opening to hear it. Uh, it's partly our drivers, it's partly our acoustics, but we've really raised the bar for performance in a small studio monitor. And the very accurate, very detailed, but very high output as well. So there's a lot of dynamic range. The other product that we're introducing at the show is our Intonato. 24 monitor management tuning system. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, we developed it to be the hub of any system in any studio, but as we get into immersive audio applications where there are lots of speakers, we need to be able to manage them. And this is the hardware controller for it. Of course, we can control the device with software as well, but what it is is a 24 input, 24 output monitor management controller that can control up to 24 speakers, four of which can be subwoofers. There's EQ included. Uh, you can set up down mixes, bass management, but the very cool thing is it tunes the speakers to the room automatically with a supplied microphone. Right, okay, and that's that sort of, you have to do that once and then it's, it's Exactly, done. exactly, yeah. 
Okay, and how much does this cost then, and when will it be available? Well, the 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 processor, which is in our equipment area over there, is uh, twenty nine ninety nine, mm-hmm. and this remote control is seven ninety nine. But you can also run it with an iPad or an Android device or a Mac or a Windows computer. So, are you aiming at installation for this, or is this more for um, uh, studios? And, it's um, for any any studio using near field monitors. Okay. Um, although it has all those inputs and outputs. And by the way, there are AES inputs on it, mm-hmm. and also networked inputs. We can take in Dante with a format converter. Um, although it has all that capability, stereo rooms are finding it very useful to route multiple inputs to speakers. I mean, particularly in the workstation days where they didn't, don't have all of that hardware mm-hmm. that used to exist in consoles. This is really the back end for a Pro Tools system or a workstation. And uh, it's a pretty amazing device. Okay, well, thanks very much, Peter. Thanks for taking the time, Will. Cheers. Appreciate it.